the beaches down in the area. So like how how are the beaches in Fort Fort Walton Beach and uh in the surrounding yeah, so area? like I, I kind of mentioned to you earlier before we went live. Um so Fort Walton Beach is more of like the city. If you want to think of like the actual beach, it's uh, Okaloosa Island. So Okaloosa Island is where you have the condos and you have like the Gulf um Gulf area, which is our like little mini sea world. Right. It's uh, an aquarium with like dolphins and stuff. They have pretty cool shows, penguins and stuff. There's a convention center. Um, there's also a few hotels in the areas like the island. It's, uh, it's a pretty popular hotel. And then you keep going west or east on 98, and that'll take you into Destin. And then you kind of get into, into that life. But going back to the beaches, um, even though we're all on the coast, each beach has its own personality. Um, and like even the sand is a little bit different. Hmm. So if you go into uh, like Navarre, Navarre is probably like a 15 minute drive from Oakus Island or um, Fort Wallen Beach. But the water out there is not as clear. It's a lot wider though. And the sand is like a little bit more shelly, like brown and stuff like that. It's still a beautiful beach. It's just not the same as um, Okaloosa Island has white sand and hmm. emerald water. And then Destin has that white sand and emerald water. So you have like different types of beaches, um, like depending yeah. on what you kind of want to visit. Yeah. So like if you're really looking for that beautiful like postcard image of like emerald water and like white sands, you know, you're spot on if you go to Oklahoma Island, hmm. um, Henderson State Park, which is in Destin. It's like five bucks to get in. I mean, that is like the place to go. And then also um, Scenic Highway 98 there is uh, the beachfront all along that that highway mm. which is absolutely gorgeous and i went there for father's day with my son and my wife and it was crazy man we had like a yacht parked um like legit yacht just like anchored maybe like a couple miles off the coast um and you have the the helicopters uh, i don't know if you've ever seen like magnum pi but um they have helicopter tours around here oh wow so, like these these helicopters are flying like maybe three four hundred feet overhead and just Thanks. buzzing the beach back and forth. So it's super cool. And then they have like airplanes, like these little seaplanes that do the same thing. They just fly up and down the coast, giving people like a tour of sure. from the air. That's but they're flying low. Yeah. yeah my yeah. son's just sitting there. He's like waving it out the uh, the oh, planes sure. and the helicopters and stuff. So. Yeah. Cause a lot, a lot of places they, they get very upset if you fly low. Yeah. Uh, but you know, here and then, so you also have the military guys. You know the c-130s and we have the ospreys so i don't know if you've ever seen like the the weird like uh, twin propeller like helicopter that turns into a, an airplane no i don't think i have so check it out it's called the osprey those guys also do like low level flying along the beach so you know like people are just hanging out and then you just have like this special you know special forces like helicopter slash airplane just like fly by you it's, it's crazy so. that's cool that's very unique like to the yeah. I'm specifically to the area i'm sure yeah trust me you're not gonna get that anywhere else in florida yeah that's that's so cool um i'm also for all for the helicopter tour too um i've never done that so it's on the bucket list um let's let's dive into the cost of living a little bit so yeah tell us about like you know low medium high kind of markets and you know whether it be renting or uh purchasing a home in the area so I mean, you talk to other agents and I don't know how it is for their market, but you know, here it was, it's wild. So we've seen price year over year go up about 20%. Um, and so for Fort Wall and Beach, that's mainly, you know, just residential homes. A lot of people that are buying their military um, or like I said, the retirees and stuff like that. But we also have, you know, that vacation rental market. that's really big. So fortunately, Fort Wall and Beach doesn't really get affected by that. It's more like Okaloosa Island and uh, Destin that sees that short-term rental um, market that they have to kind of compete with for residential houses. Mm -hmm. But so, you know, prices have gone up. Um, in Fort Walton Beach, the, the median income was around like 50000 So, you know, Fort Walton Beach isn't as expensive to live as um, like Destin. I would say Destin, is, the cost of living is, is higher. Uh, just the real estate is more. And because of the tourism, prices are, are just higher. So, you know, it's, I would think of Navarre as like a suburb. So the, I think the median income out there is about 80,000 a year. Um, you know, but 
the real estate's a little bit higher as well. So you see median median home prices around like 450,000 out there. Whereas in uh, Fort Long Beach, you're looking at about you know, 400,000. And then, you know, in Destin, about 470. But uh, there's so many condos down there that are selling for like half a mil plus that mm -hmm. it kind of skews the data. As you go further west, you have Gulf Breeze, which it's, uh, it's kind of funny. I guess people with money like to go further away from like the city because mm -hmm. out there, the there's a lot of health workers in the Gulf Breeze area. So there you kind of seen like 80 to 100,000. Is yeah. Okay. So the short term rental, you know, Airbnb market is, it's a part of like the housing market very much so in, in the area, yeah. which, which, yeah, has an effect ultimately. And whether for better, or for worse, depending on your opinion, um, I'm a, capitalists at my heart so I, I think it's all, all good for the free market but for for people buying and, and is that you know just like a typical like three bedroom two bath kind of house kind of you're talking about in that uh price range yeah so a typical three bed two bath in four Walton beach right now will probably run you about 380 okay, cool. 390 and a lot of the housing out here unfortunately is older hmm. so you know a lot of times you see that the roofs need to be replaced or you're starting to have to do like a four point inspection because they're hitting 30 years and that's just the requirement from insurance companies so you know the houses are older the maintenance repair is more expensive and uh, unfortunately the prices are still kind of high on those if you were to go to like navarre you're looking at a three two that's probably going to run you in the 400s in terms of local transportation um that kind of you know going to the airport and stuff like that. Tell us a little bit more about that in the area. Yeah, so it's Florida. So if you know anything about Florida, you need to drive wherever you go. And unfortunately, like this area doesn't have a, like a, a bus or metro system. We don't have any kind of like uh, trains or trolleys, things like that. We do uh, just bus and Uber, or sorry, a car, Uber. That's kind of how most people get around. Um, if you need to fly out of Destin, you're going to fly to like... Um, DPS, which is that airport I told you that is connected to the Air Force Base over at Eglin, or you can fly out of Pensacola. Um, What's the name, the, not, the name of the airport again? It's a BPS. BPS. So I believe it's like um, Valparaiso Destin. Um, it's like a regional airport. So if you like what you're hearing so far, check out the full episode right here.